Computers communicate just like we do. You may have just never thought about it before. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. Let's figure out how they do that. If you're sitting around the dinner table with your family, there's a constant chatter and communication that may be happening, unless there's something awkward going on, but you are communicating via a certain set of rules. One of the rules that you were taught as a young person was don't speak if someone else is speaking. So if you hear someone else talking, wait until they're done, right? Now we don't always abide by that. We have something we wanna say, we wanna interrupt and we wanna get our words in, but just understand that that, that is a, a rule. Computers abide by that rule better than humans do, but that basically is a rule that says, listen before you talk. The next part of this is that we can talk to multiple people at a time. Maybe I'm at the dinner table and I'm just telling a story to everybody. What if all of you out there, I'm talking about something very controversial. So I, I do this in front of a crowd. What if I'm talking about something very controversial like uh, BMW versus Audi? And I'm talking about how great BMW is and go on and on and on and on. What's going to happen when I stop talking? Well, likely there'll be a few people say, oh, preach it GT. And others will say, that's terrible, you're an idiot. But what is guaranteed to happen is two people talk at the same time. All of this that I just mentioned happens in computers. Now let's define what we just talked about. When you listen before you speak, computers call that carrier sense, CS. That just means I'm not gonna speak or transmit if someone's talking to me. The other is MA, multiple access, CSMA. Carrier sense, multiple access means I can communicate with multiple devices simultaneously. And the last is slash CD, collision detection. Can you detect a collision? You can. If you and someone else start talking at the exact same time, what do you do? Well, you kind of look at them and you say, oh, no, no, you go first, depending on how nice you are. What we just described is CSMA CD. That is rules for communication that occur in networking. Now, there's another type of person. Well, there's another type of uh, carrier sense also. It's carrier sense, listen before you talk, multiple access, slash collision avoidance. There's a problem that some people that you have encountered have, and that is when they talk, even if they talk at the same time as someone else, they don't stop. Now in networking, that actually does happen. Wi-Fi devices do this. It's not because they're being rude. It's just a, it's a fundamental thing about radios. We don't need to worry about that right now, but just understand collision avoidance is there because they can't detect a collision. So have, if you've ever met someone like this, that when they start talking, it's like they put their fingers in their ears and they just keep on barreling through whatever it is they have to say. The last thing to, that I want you to understand, at least in this video, is what's called duplex, half versus full duplex. Half versus full duplex just means I'm talking and then you talk back and forth, or can we both speak at the same time and both understand each other? General human communication, we can't, right? Most of the time it's what's called half duplex. I talk and then you talk and I talk and you talk and we take turns. That's half duplex communication. Computers are really good at full duplex communication, meaning they can actually send data while receiving data. Switch networks can do this full duplex. Wi-Fi networks cannot. Wi-Fi is half duplex, talk and then receive. So as a quick review, carrier sense, listen before you talk, multiple access, we can talk to multiple people, either A, collision detection, I hear that you talk the same time as I did, let's figure that out, collision avoidance, which means I chose, or I can't, hear you at the same time as I'm speaking, and then half dirt versus full duplex, half is one then the other, one then the other, Full duplexes, we can both talk at the same time and both fully understand each other. Hope that helps. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon, and let's keep on this journey of understanding how computers communicate.